God all the praise. Going to talk to you this morning uh, from the subject of bless for success. <laughs> I say bless for success. Yeah, so many folks trying to get dressed for success, but <laughs> if you know like I know, it ain't about the clothes, baby. <laughs> you better know that you know that you know <laughs> that you got the Lord on your side. Ah, come on, somebody. <laughs> I'm blessed for success. I recognize it's not by power, not by might, but it's by his spirit. Can I get a witness in the house? I say it's by his spirit. Hallelujah. That I'm able to, amen, enjoy the success that I have. That I'm able to walk in victory. That I'm able to walk in authority. It's by his spirit that I live, that I move, that I have my very being. Hey, I, I, I got to have his spirit with me just to be able to get the job done. I, I recognize, I done examine myself, I done check things out, and I am virtually nothing without Christ. Yee! Y'all don't want to go with me. Y'all don't want to go. I say I'm nothing. <laughs> I preached y'all one time about this old glorified dirt. <laughs> Pastor Vining, you better tell them you ain't all that. <laughs> I know you done got 30 degrees behind your name and you done... Went and got all the book knowledge, but I, baby, I want to let you know, without Christ, there ain't, there ain't a mountain to a hill of beans. <laughs> you better get you some Jesus. Hey, I'm, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Hey, Amen. I'm blessed for success. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I know that it's because of Christ, amen, that I've been able to accomplish what I've accomplished thus far, amen, but we're going to talk about four P's, four P's that we want to, amen, examine as it relates to this success, amen, and as it is with anything, we want to lay down, if you will, a solid foundation. Foundation meaning something that you can build upon. Amen. Something that you can lay down other, amen, tenets and truths and principles on top of. Uh, amen. I've taught you many times that being a son of a contractor, a builder, uh, daddy used to say that, yeah, uh, uh, if you make sure that the foundation is solid, you may have some problems with the other part of the structure, but they won't condemn the building as long as you got a good found. Hey, as long as you got a good foundation, you still got something to work with. But if the foundation ever get damaged, if the foundation ever get corrupted, oh, the whole building got to be condemned. The whole building got to come down if the foundation ain't sure. So the first P that we're going to talk about is prayer. If you're going to have success. I would say, well, preacher, what that got to do with having the Holy Ghost? <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Everything. What that got to do with being saved? Everything. Because contrary to popular belief, you didn't get saved to have an unsuccessful life on this side. See, the reason why God saved you is so that you could be a witness to him. And last time I checked, 
Don't nobody want to hear nothing about somebody or uh, uh, get, no, get no good advice from somebody that's living up on the bridge. <laughs> bro, if you, if you ain't got nothing better than you staying on the bridge, the only thing you can tell me is how not to get up under there. <laughs> about the only thing, you know, and I'm not knocking that is if you going through some hard time, we're going to pray and believe God that that's just a part of your phase and you coming out from under there. But no, I, I, I can't believe that I've been saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, and I got to still be poor. I got to still struggle. No, I've been saved so I can live a life of success. I've been saved so I can live a life that glorifies the name of Christ. So Matthews 21 and 22 tells us, In all things whatsoever, when you get ready to start out, Whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, you can't just ask it. Because some of you get down there and y'all just be saying words. But Matthew 22 saying, all, tell the neighbor, say all. all. And all things, whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer. Then you got to put your faith on it. Amen. Believing you shall receive it. So not only do you have to pray, but you got to believe. You got to water your prayer with faith. You got to water your petition to God with your faith. It says, if we pray and then believe, we shall receive. So our first tenet, our first P is prayer. The Bible tells us like this, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth. That means it, it means something to God. The effectual fervent prayer. In other words, you can't get down there. No, no. Come on, somebody. I know, I know I'm preaching to the right church. <laughs> you done got down there and, and nodded off a time or two, man. Let's just say deep many times. Well, we just be we just be honest about it. <laughs> Even the master had his disciples. And he said, You he, you can't pray with me one hour. <laughs> he, he, he about to go uh dig a month table for uh Pilate's chambers. About to be sacrificed, about to be crucified. And he go there and check, there go the disciples somewhere asleep. <laughs> So don't feel like you're by yourself, but just understand that ain't the type of prayer that gets you results. Ooh, Lord, help me. I say that's not the type of prayer that comes with success. No, the Bible say the effectual fervent. That means you got to put some fire behind that thing. You got to be intense with it. You got to act like and, and know in your heart that you mean it. That when you pray and believe. Tell your neighbor, say, I'm going to be successful. When you pray and believe, have an effectual, have an intention to your prayer. It availeth much. It means something to God. It doesn't just go to the ceiling and bounce back down. No, when you really mean it. God, he's there to receive it. Amen. And as any good father, 
Amen. He's not going to see his children hungry and give them stones. Huh? He's going to not see his children in a need. Amen. And hold, withhold his hand of compassion. That ain't the type of God that we serve. The type of God that we serve, he said, if you just ask it and believe, I'll give it to you. <laughs> he told us, Deacon Don, he said, it's my good pleasure to even give you my kingdom. That's the kind of God we serve. That's the kind of God that wants to see you succeed. He said, I want to see you succeed so bad, I'll give you my kingdom. If your ways please me. If you obey, if you do it according to my plan, it'll work. Right? Coming up on the ladder right. You got to put some time. If you plan or uh, if you expect to be successful. The 2021 Homecoming Celebration will be held on Sunday, August 1st at 10.30 a.m. We will be celebrating 62 years in ministry. All current and former EFBM members and friends are invited to attend. Well, God bless you, and we're so glad you have joined us here for another outpouring of God's Spirit on Ladder Rain. Well, listen, I'm so glad that you chose to be here with us, but I am here because I want to send a special God bless you and a special thanks out to all of our ministry partners, yes, for those that have agreed to sow into this ministry to help us to carry the gospel all over the world. I want you to know that we appreciate you, but I also want to give an opportunity for those that would love to be a part. Yes, you still have chance. You still have time to be a part of what God is doing right here at Evangelical Faith Vision Ministries. So, I want to give you that opportunity by telling you how to be a part by sowing in, by joining us and taking the gospel all over the world. Just go to our website at www.efvm.org and click on the give link. And listen, by you clicking on the give link, you can just uh, choose to sow into the ministry or if you would like to, you can request one of our ministry materials, what God has given me for my messages and resource materials, or in our archive, we have uh, messages and sermons from our founder, Apostle Isaiah Revels, that you can request also. However you would like to do it, we just do not want you to miss this great, great opportunity because we want you to remember that this is still our year of divine destiny. Don't miss it. God bless you and we love you. Number two, planning. After praying, you got to put some time in, Adrian, to put the plan together. Amen. And it's sad to say a lot of times we <laughs> want to do all the praying and crying and hollering and rolling, running back and forth every now and hour, and then get back home and say, all right, do it, God. <laughs> God said, you, you can't expect me to do it now. He even told the preacher, write the vision. The vision ain't nothing but a plan. Write the vision and make a plan. You got to put some time. If you plan or if you expect to be successful. St. Luke chapter 14. Yeah, this ain't one of them that might get you hooping and where I can hoop and, and but I got I gotta teach you something because see I'm tired of seeing my folk suffering and Bible say you perish for the lack of not help me somebody because at the end of the day 
You can't grow if you don't know. Huh? I said at the end of the day, you cannot grow if you don't know. So I'm here to put something in between those ears. Now what you do with it is on you. Yeah. Because it's some that didn't receive the word and the Bible say that word, it fell on stony ground. Some of it fell by the wayside, but some fell on good ground. So I'm preaching to the ones today that's really ready to receive the word into their heart and then let it produce a good fruit. Say, preach, preacher. St. Luke, chapter 14, verse 28, and it reads, for which of you? Tell somebody, say, he's talking about me. Intending to build a tower, Set it not down first, and counteth the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it, lest haply after he have laid the foundation. Oh, you done prayed. You done cried. You done wallowed. You done ran. You done laid the foundation. Tell somebody, say, I done prayed about it. And is not able to finish it. All that behold it begin to mock. Somebody's going to laugh at you. They say, uh-huh, look at you. You up there in that church, Pentecostal, sanctified church, doing all that shouting and speaking in tongues, and you still ain't got it. So they're going to mock you. Saying this man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king going to make war against another king sitteth not down first and consulteth whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000? Or else while the other is yet a great way off, he sendeth an ambassage and desireth conditions for peace. So likewise, whosoever be of you that forsake is not all that he have cannot be my disciple. The master is saying to us that if you have the intentions of being successful, it's not enough for you to just come and get the word. It's not enough for you to even dig an A.W. just go home and pray. Even if you prayed a good prayer, even if it was an effectual prayer, that's not enough. Because even after the word say you've laid the foundation, foundation is solid. But if you don't take the time to put the plan together, you got to put the time into planning it. When I was in school, they helped us to put a business plan together. And a lot of times you don't even recognize that even before the banker writes you the check, they want to see your plan. Really? Yeah. Because they know that your thought process, this right here, is more important than your actions. Your thoughts are more important or more valuable than even your actions. Because if they can see where you've taken the time, the necessary time to put in to say, okay, if this happened, then I'm going to do that. If that happened, then I'm going to do this. Then they say, okay, this person has put in the time. They, they've done some strategic thinking. They hadn't just came and 
woke up one day and say, uh, I need $5,000 because I'm finna start an ice cream shop. <laughs> Why? Because guess what? Guess how many folks will make, make a run on the bank if everybody just got a bright idea and say, I need 50000 I need 100000 because I got a bright idea. Everybody got bright ideas, but not everybody is willing to put the planning in, to put the time in, to sit down like the word of God say and count up the cost. If you're going to be successful, then I came to let you know that it's going to cost you something. Nobody that's successful got there without having to give up something. If you're going to have success in this life, saints of God, just coming to church is not enough. You're going to have to spend some time doing some behind the curtain research. Doing some behind the closed doors studying. Yeah, because at the end of the day, People will pay you for what you know. Yeah. The ones that really make the big bucks are what they call consultants. In other words, they ain't paying you to come out there and work and put your hand on the shovel and, 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 and scoop the dirt out. Or to get behind the counter. And cook the food or do whatever you got. No, they praying you for what you already know. For what you've already experienced. As a consultant, I get paid for my experience. Because I've already sat down and counted up the cost. And I know that if I do it like this, It'll work. I already know that if I do it like that, that won't work. So guess what? I ain't got to keep trying that. And then I can tell you if you're going to get where I'm at in that business, then it's going to take you doing it according to this plan. When you plan, it keeps you from being distracted. Yes, because, see, planning helps you stick to what you said you were going to do. Planning helps you from getting caught up with every, you know, Tom and Harry that run along and say, you know what, well, what about if you do this? What about if you, you know, Take your your hamburgers and uh and instead of uh adding ketchup and, and mustard and mayonnaise, what if you go put some uh uh some some hibachi sauce on your hamburgers? And if you've already put the plan there, you say, no, somebody else can try the hibachi burger. No, I'm doing the Revels burger. <laughs> this the burger <laughs> that my plan and my vision called for. Well, this is the day that the Lord has made, and yes, we are rejoicing and we're glad in it. Well, we're again glad that you have decided to join in here uh, on the Latter Rain uh, Ministries, and we just just believe that God had a pre ordained reason for you to be a part of this special television broadcast. And I'm here because I want to give you the opportunity. If you do not know who Jesus is in the pardoning of your sins, there's no better time than the present. Well, it's all according to your faith. And I want to let you know that if you can believe, you can receive. Jesus is here and he's ready 
to come into your life and to make you a part of the kingdom of God. Well, if you would, just repeat a few words with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you, and I thank you for your sacrifice. And I ask you, Lord, to forgive me of all my sins. Enter into my life, Lord. Live with me. Change me. Make me a better person, Lord God. Make me the person that you would have for me to be, and I would live for you the rest of my life. Now, Lord, fill me with the, your spirits. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. And Lord God, I forever thank you. I forever praise you, and I forever give you the glory. Well, if you can believe that now, it's already done. It's according to your faith. It's done unto you. Well, I would give you uh, my advice, and that is that at this point, as a new believer, you need to join in and connect in with a church that is teaching how to become a, a, a full blood-bought believer of Jesus Christ. Well, I offer you to become a member here at First Albany Deliverance Cathedral right here in the Good Life City of Albany, Georgia, 1506 South Slappy Boulevard, Albany, Georgia, 31701. Well, and if you're not able to join in here, seek out and ask God, pray about becoming a member in your uh, a local city because it's so important that after you have become a believer and, and believe God as your savior, that you get guidance, that you get direction because no one can just make it alone. It is our responsibility as pastors to help you to grow and to develop and to be the man or the woman that God has called you to be. Well, God bless you now. We love you. And we're looking forward to seeing you here. God bless you. Thank you for tuning into Ladder Rain. We hope you have enjoyed the word this morning. To order a copy of this message in its entirety, please visit our online store at www.efvm.org or call 229-436-7707. To partner with us on our mission to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, Please make a donation by clicking the Give link on our website or through the Givelify app. Join us Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. for Bible study with our senior pastor, Apostle Felix Revels. Once again, we thank you for tuning into Ladder Rain. Join us next week as we experience the outpour, the overflow, the Ladder Rain.